23rd annual Friends of Palliative Care Golf Tournament is taking place Wednesday, August 31st at the Brockville Country Club. The tournament supports the Hospice Without Walls with a highly specialized team of health care providers. The event helps the program to provide support to patients and their families who are coping with a life-threatening condition at the hospital or in the community. Over $2 million has been raised in support of the local palliative care service over the 22 years of the tournament. The 23rd annual Friends of Palliative Care Golf Tournament, Wednesday, August 31st at the Brockville Country Club. For more information, please visit friendsofpalliativecare.com. Sponsored in part by Hometown TV 12. We've had great support uh, both locally from the township with uh, the mayor and council. King's Lock Craft Distillery, a new small batch craft distillery located in Johnstown, held its grand opening on Thursday, August 25th. The ceremony featured a short ribbon cutting a guided tour of the stills that explain how spirits are made and a sampling of what the new distillery offers. Well, we had the original idea probably minimum five years ago uh, and then we started sort of looking at different options for either renting buildings or having buildings built for us. And then I would say to you that really it's been about two and a half, three years that this part of the project is actually so working with the landlord to get this building, having that building designed, having it built, and then going through our side, which is uh, you know, ordering the equipment, uh, creating the products, getting all the components in place to actually be able to sell. We had an interest in distilling. We had, uh, for a long time, we've been trying to look for a business that we could uh, run and carry into our early semi-retirement stage, something that we would enjoy doing, something that we had an interest in um, that would be uh, comfortable, nothing excessive, but comfortable. And uh, knowing that uh, we had a huge interest in organic agriculture and promoting the area, we decided to start looking at ones that could actually uh, use that sort of infrastructure and help promote that infrastructure. So having an interest in distilling and knowing that products can be made uh, that are very tasteful and appreciative, we decided this was a good opportunity. The distillery opened on Friday, August 19th to the public and offers two different spirits at the moment, with plans for more. Right now we have a, a vodka and an unaged white rye, uh, so those are both white spirits. Um, we do double distill, which tends to make them a little smoother, and as well uh, we have a lot of character behind, so the vodka is 100% corn, the rye is 100% rye grain, which makes it a little different than an aged rye. Uh, soon we will also be adding a gin and a cane spirit, which is very similar to rum. So those two uh, are already in testing. We just need to get some more paperwork done and then we'll be able to uh, get them out on the shelves. And uh, so we don't expect more than three weeks, maybe four at the very max. And uh, then we have some uh, concepts and ideas that we hope to pursue to make some seasonal products, uh, invent some other very unique sort of things that we've experienced around the globe uh, and try to come and, and bring them home and make them local and make them, you know, about eastern Ontario. Granville County has had a rich history in distilling. The business and its name reflect the area's prominent history of distilling, the proximity of the St. Lawrence River and the King's Locks along the nearby canal that predated the St. Lawrence Seaway. As a matter of fact, in uh, approximately around 1860, there were actually five distillers in Grenville County, and they were only second in production to uh, the city of Toronto. So Grenville actually has a huge history in distilling, and uh, a lot of it vanished, and now we're just trying to bring some of it back. Bradley encourages people to stop by the distillery to learn more about the process. We encourage everybody to come by. You don't have to purchase. You don't have to taste. Um, it's really an interesting process. A lot of people don't understand how spirits are distilled. Um, it's much different than wine and beer, so we encourage people to come by, have a little uh, you know, visit, see what it's like, and uh, you know, find out a little bit of history. Everything's named after the river, so everything is, is contemplated with the history of the river or this area because of its uh, long history and contribution to Upper Canada, and so we think that's pretty unique as well. King's Lock is a small batch craft distillery focused on the production of organic spirits and dedicated to sustainable and green principles. All of King's Lock craft distillery's spirits have been named for a tale of the St. Lawrence, sharing the country's past with its customers. For more information, please visit kinglockcraftdistillery.com. For Hometown TV 12 News, Dale Elliott in Johnstown.